All right, good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining us for today's Resiliency Monday Kickstart. I am Dominic Serencioni, the Director of the Family Programs Division here at the 88th Readiness Division. And on behalf of Major General Guthrie and our entire command team, I want to thank you guys for joining us today for our Resiliency Training Talks. OK, so for those of you who have joined us in the past, we've kind of been focusing on in these hard times, you know, as COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect us in the world and some of the social unrest that's going on in the United States, we've really been kind of focusing on what can we do to make it through and what can we do to survive? And as we're going into this new year, we're really switching that into a what can we do to thrive mentality? OK, we've got these things going on, but what can we do to make ourselves resilient, make ourselves able to bounce back from some of these situations and really just you know, be able to have a more positive outlook on the world. So that's really what we're going to be focusing on today. And what we're going to be focusing on is the resiliency skill that is known as hunt the good stuff. We're going to take a look into that and we're going to talk about some of the ways that we can pr uh, produce better optimism as well as just be a more pleasant person to be around it and kind of be more positive as we get through our day. So if there's no questions before we start. We'll go ahead and move on to the next slide. OK, as you guys know here from some of our other classes or if this is the first time you're joining us, uh, this is what's called our um, resiliency kind of pyramid takes all the different pieces and skill set within the resiliency um, master resiliency kind of programming and puts them all together to make us this resilient person to be able to bounce back from diversity to make it through hard times um, and, and to have them not take such a toll on us. Uh, as we go through so that we can be better in our personal lives, better in our professional lives and as soldiers um, be able to really complete the mission to the best of our abilities. So each one is shown here by a different graphic kind of based on what that specific resiliency skill talks about. OK, and as you guys can see here, what we're talking about is shown by the acronym HTGS or hunt the good stuff, hashtag hunt the good stuff. And we'll talk a little bit about how that works on social media platforms right now uh, as we get further into our skills. OK, um, and what I'm going to do now is show a short clip that I think really captures what hunt the good stuff is all about. Um, and. Really is kind of that. Um, you got you guys will see when you see the video, it, it's really. Um, a great clip. Many of you have probably seen this before, um, but give me one second here and let me switch to the video. All right. All of this video is intellectual property of Disney and Marvel Studios and in no way, shape or form shows any affiliation to the United States government or the United States Army Reserves. You think I'm gonna miss my celly getting out? Hey, how's your girl, man? Oh, uh, she left me. Oh. Yeah, my mom died too. And my dad got deported. But I got the van. It's nice. Yeah, right? Okay, just a short little clip there, kind of showing you that no matter how bad things get, there's always some of that silver lining to look at. As you can see there, didn't have a lot of things going, but you know what? Still got the van. All right, so let's pull back up the slideshow here. All right, our bottom line up front, Hunt the Good Stuff helps us to build optimism. And we're going to talk a little bit about more about optimism as we, we get further along in this lesson. And then it builds a positive emotion, especially the positive emotion of gratitude. So being really thankful for the things that you do have, despite facing some of these hardships and some of these things that may really seem difficult and, and hard to overcome, but Let's take a step back, look at the good stuff and feel that real positive emotion of gratitude. Um, and we'll talk about some of the benefits that, that provides not only mentally, but also physically. And when we talk about your performance in a work or a uh, military soldier environment. OK, so um, <clears throat> what you see here is this is work that was actually studied by a guy named Robert Emons um, and some of his team. And what I want to show you through that is that this is actually a scientific um, backed mental thought process okay it's not just oh touchy feely and everything you know everything's rainbows and sunshine no it's actually scientifically proven that by having some of these positive emotions like optimism gratitude and, and how we get to those through hunting the good stuff actually 
phys there are physical changes in your brain chemistry as well as your physical makeup by having this type of attitude of gratitude. OK, so we're going to talk about that. It counteracts a negativity bias, which we'll talk about fully what that negativity bias is here in the next couple of slides. And it leads to now scientifically proven better health, better sleep, a more feeling of calm, less worry, right? Lowers depression um, and greater life satisfaction. Gives you more optimal performance, both in your personal life as well as your uh, your work life or your life as a soldier. And it causes you to have better relationships, right? Most of us are attracted to people and want to be around people who have that optimistic mindset. We don't really want to be around somebody who's negative all the time. All they do is talk about the bad things. Um, I call them negative Nancy's. You know, those are just not the type of people that you want to spend as much time with. So by being a more optimistic and positive person, you can better your relationships, build real and even build new relationships. OK. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about a little bit is doing a hunt the good stuff journal. So I highly encourage everybody uh, to do this, even if you're not a big fan of journaling or you haven't done journaling in the past. And it doesn't have to necessarily be done like this. I'll, I'll give you a couple other ways that you can kind of do the hunt the good stuff journal. But what we're talking about here is get a journal, a notebook, whatever, and record three good things each day next to each positive event. Write a short reflection, just a sentence about one of the following topics. And what this does is it makes it more personal to you and, and can help you understand um, why it was a good thing and how to multiply these good things. Not just, oh yeah, you know, I got $100 today. Well, of course that's a good thing. But what did, what did it make you feel? What are the, some of the reasons behind that? So take, take a moment next to the thing that you write down and, and tackle one of these four questions. So why is this a good thing happening? Why did it happen? Um, what this good thing means to you, make it personal, what you can do tomorrow to enable more of this good thing. So if you figure out, well, today by getting up an extra half an hour early, I was able to, you know, watch my favorite, you know, news show this morning and it really put me in a better mood. Well, now, you know, you can do that the next day to maybe replicate that same feeling. And then what ways you or others contributed to that good thing? So what did you do to make it happen or what did somebody else do to make that good thing happen? And that's really the best way to kind of reflect on this. And like I said, doing it in a written journal is, is a, a great way to do it and it gives you an opportunity to look back. But you can do this um, just mentally in your head. You don't necessarily have to write it down. There's a few different apps out there that you guys can download that allow you to kind of record your good things throughout the day. So maybe take a look at that, especially if you're more of a technological person. But what this does is it really makes it real and kind of puts you into this. Um, and after you do it for a while, it just becomes second nature. Um, I, I know some people have used this even with their families. They'll do it at the beginning of dinner every night. You know, say, okay, we're going to go around the table and talk about our hunt the good stuff for the day, the one thing that we did. So it's not in a journal format, but it's still out there and it's still being present and still focusing on these things in the hunt the good stuff. Okay, what I'd like you guys to do now, if you'll just put um, in the comment section of this video, I'd really appreciate if you guys would just share some of your examples of hunt the good stuff. Some of those good things that you saw today, some of those things that maybe you've seen recently that really meet our criteria for hunt the good stuff. You don't have to put down those questions, um, but just what were they? Kind of give us some examples or some things that maybe you're really finding, uh, especially in the in these strong struggling times. So just please put that in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Um, talking about the key principles, we're going to talk a little bit more now about the counteracting the negativity bias. OK, and what the negativity bias is, um, is that us as human beings, we tend to pay more attention to bad events and to the negative things in our lives than we do to the good things. You know, there's that old saying, you know, um, it takes 100 good things to wash out one bad thing, right? People always remember the bad things you do, but forget about the good things really fast. And that's just kind of how we work and how we're wired as humans. So what this does by putting our three good things and really focusing on a, on a regular basis on those good things is it allows us to counteract that. It allows us to take a situation instead of focusing, OK, what's the horrible thing with this or, oh, my God, this is so horrible. We're able to then relook at it and say, oh, wow, you know, yes, this was not the greatest thing, but look what good came out of it or look what it was able to do or look at some of the other good things that were going on around it. OK, so we're counteracting that negative bias. And then optimism, right? That's what we're kind of focusing on. It's just having a more positive outlook on things, being more optimistic that things are going to be okay. Um, you know, but being realistic with that, right? It's not 
oh, everything's going to be sunshine and rainbows. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and uh, my bed's going to turn into a giant cupcake and everything's going to be wonderful because that's unrealistic. But what we're talking about is everything doesn't have to be negative and there's always something good you can find uh, in the dark times or, or when things are struggling um, or rough in your life. So really focusing on that optimistic mindset. How can you use the good stuff to enhance your performance, right? If you guys would just reflect on this yourselves as you're watching this video, what are some ways that you can utilize this to enhance your performance? Um, <clears throat> you know, hunting the good stuff can really put you in a better mood. Um, it can make you more productive because you're, you know, you're focused on positivity and not negative. You're not getting stuck in one of these spiral thought processes where you just are stuck because you can't quit thinking about these bad things. And then you get kind of paralyzed to where you're not performing and you're not getting things done. So that's one of the ways. But think about the ways you can utilize this in your own performance. How can you keep track of positive events and experiences that affect how you react with inner uh, and experience affect how you interact with others? Right. So we talked about doing this as a journal um, and, and maybe there's some other ways that you guys can think of uh, to kind of keep track of this. So, you know, just kind of put this to the side and think about this as we go through the rest of this lesson um, about how you can keep track of those positive events. OK, um, we're kind of wrapping it up here. This is one of our shorter lessons, um, really easy concept to grasp. But here's kind of what we've talked about. So our skill is hunt the good stuff. It's used to notice positive experiences and to enhance optimism, gratitude and other positive emotions. OK. When do I use it? Right. Hunt the good stuff on a regular basis in order to counteract the negativity bias. And guys, I, I want to stress that the more you do this, the easier it becomes and then it becomes second nature. And then you really kind of transform from a negativity bias to an optimistic bias. And you look at things, the good things first, as opposed to those negative things. How do I use it? Write down those three positive experiences um, in a journal is the best way to do it. Um, what good things mean to you, what you can do to make more of them happen, and what ways you or others contributed to those things. One of the really cool things before we move on here to the next two slides um, that's going on is a social media campaign for Hunt the Good Stuff. And we call it Hunt the Good Stuff Thursdays. And so basically, if you have something great that happens to you on Thursdays and you want to share it on social media, if you use the hashtag HTGS, okay, it's shared um with the people who follow that hashtag and that's what they use at the um mrt centers and it, it's just kind of a good way to have a community sense feel of all the good things that are going on so if you guys are into social media and want to utilize that use the hashtag htgs okay okay my final thought here and i want you to take a look at this slide and tell me what you see okay just look at it real quick Right. And it probably reads to most of you. Opportunity is nowhere. Right. That's how we look at this. And that's kind of how our negativity bias automatically sees this. But now if we take the same topic or I'm sorry, the same sentence and focus and shift to an optimistic outlook at this, we now have opportunity is now here instead of opportunity is nowhere. So really, it's all about changing your mental perspective to focus on the good things and to be optimistic. And so that's what we have today, guys. Um, thank you for joining us and watching this video. Please, you know, feel free to put some of those Hunt the Good stuff in the comments. Join us every Monday at 1300 for our uh, Kickstart seminar. Reach out to your local family programs representative to get a copy of the schedule and some of our upcoming topics. Next week, which is February 1st, we'll be joined um, by actually one of our soldiers, and he's going to be talking about the powerful of mindful, the power of mindfulness and meditation okay in his civilian life that's what he does and he is an instructor of these things and he's going to talk to us about how we can use some of those for our performance uh, and for our personal life so again uh, on behalf of the 88th readiness division family programs i really thank you guys for joining us and have a wonderful week